Hey there, this is Daniel with Spotio, and on today's feature spotlight, we will be going over our e-contracts tool. In today's video, we will be discussing how you can set up your e-contract templates. We will also be discussing how you can sign an e-contract in the field on your mobile device. And then we will be discussing how you can send an e-contract via email for a customer to sign and uh, your rep to sign via email as well. So let's get started. To get started with setting up your e-contract template, you'll first need to be logged in as an admin on the web version of Spotio. You'll start by going to the settings gear in the lower left corner and then selecting the option for settings in the top right corner. Inside of here, you'll want to go down to the sales process section of the settings and select the tab for e-contracts. This will allow you to turn on and off the e-contracts tool as well as customize different options for your e-contracts. First option we have here is to set up a CC email address for all completed e-contracts to be sent to. A lot of companies will put in things like contracts at companyname.com. After that, you can also turn on an option for the customer that's signing the contract on their end to be included on these CC emails as well, so that they receive a completed copy of any contracts that are signed on your rep's device. After you've turned these on, you'll click save, and then you should be able to go into the company docs section of your account to begin setting up your template. We have two options for templates, ones that just require a customer signature, and then ones that allow a co company employee, as well as a customer, to fill out and provide a signature on their end. For today's example, we will be setting up a e-contract template that requires both company and customer signature and information. Once you upload the PDF of your template, you will then be taken into our e-contract creation tool. Inside of here, you will basically be putting in the different fields of information that you want either the rep, customer, or Spotio to auto-populate inside of your template. The first option we will be looking at here today is the gray option for me now signatures. So what this basically allows you to do is insert information into this template as you're setting it up and that information will stay inside of this template every time it's generated. So if you need to add some last minute text into your template or customize any details about the company, you can basically type and add any manual information in with this me now option and it will stay inside of your e-contract template. In addition to the me now option, we also have a pink option here for sender. And this is basically used for any information you want to be sent into your e-contract from Spotio. So any details about the lead, with this example being an address, or any customer information that you want to have included in this e-contract, you can basically go in and select a pink sender text box for, and then use this what text goes here field to select what information you want to have populate there. In addition to the pink sender field, we also have blue company fields, and these are ones that are filled out by a rep or somebody on your company's side whenever the contract is generated. And then we also have orange customer fields, as you can see here, that will be filled out by the customer on their end. So any information we need the customer to put in or any signatures we need captured from the customer. So now that we've gone through the different types of information, let's begin setting up our e-contract template. So to get us started here, I'm going to select the option for company and I'm going to drag and drop in the date signed. So this is now going to populate the date that the company employee generates and signs the contract on their end, and it's gonna put that date inside of the date field for our e-contract. I'm next going to select the pink sender option to have pink fields automatically populated with information from the lead. So you'll notice address is already correct there. I'm gonna put the address information in the customer address line. I'm then going to add in an option for customer name. Now, one thing I will point out here is Spotio does have customer names broken up into first and last names. So all you need to do here if you're wanting the full customer name to appear on this line is drag in a separate text box for first name and a separate text box for last name. After you've done this, it'll populate with the full customer name on the customer name field. After that, I'm going to drag and drop in two more text boxes, one for customer email, which I can then select the option for inside of here and then one for customer phone number. So now all of these pink boxes, whenever I generate this e-contract, will automatically pull in this information from Spotio and save the rep time in the field rather than having to manually enter in customer information that's already inside of Spotio. I've also added a few options inside of here for selected services to demonstrate our checkbox option as well as logic options. 
So what I'm going to do now is drag and drop in a few text boxes, or I'm sorry, check boxes next to our different service options. This is going to give the rep the ability to check off any of these boxes to mark different services that the customer is signing up for. A lot of companies have proposals with you know, different pricing options, different packages and things like that. And these check boxes make it super easy for the rep to select which ones the customer is signing, on, uh, signing for for the, this particular proposal. I've also added in a field below these for service details. And this is for a general text box that'll be filled out by the company rep. So this can be any you know, additional notes about the service or additional information that needs to be included um, for this particular package. I'm now going to go down to the bottom right and select a conditional logic. So conditional logics basically allow you to set up an e-contract template which will only display certain fields when others are either checked or filled out. So for this particular logic, I'm going to go in and add it to our service one field and basically set this template up so that if this service one field is filled out, it will then display the service details field below it. So this also saves the rep time, you know, rather than them having to fill out or skip past a bunch of fields that might not be applicable for their particular agreement, you can set up these conditional logic fields to make it super easy to only have um, particular fields appear if they're needed for this particular agreement. After that, I'm going to set up the fields for the sales rep's name and the sales rep's signature. So we're going to stay on the company option for this and I'm going to drag and drop in um, both the name for the particular rep with our name field gonna have to make it a little bit smaller than the uh, text box I just set up and then after I've put in the reps full name I'm now going to drag and drop in a signature field now by dragging in a signature field from the company option this is going to capture again that sales reps signature and we're gonna set up a completely separate option for the actual customers signature so in order to do that I'm going to now switch from these blue company fields over to the customer fields now you can make an orange customer field that allows the customer to insert or manually type out their name. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a customer signature field, just like I did before here on the bottom signature line. And then rather than setting up a field for the customer to manually input their name, I'm going to set up another sender field. So this will basically um, input in that customer name again from what we have saved in Spotio. And once again, this just saves time. It makes it easier rather than having to you know, fill out multiple fields multiple times. I can have the information pulled in directly from the lead in Spotio and have the first and last name auto inserted into this proposal. So now once I set that up as a pink sender field, it's going to automatically put the customer first and last name there, but then still give them the option to manually capture that signature in the orange field. And now what we're left with is a completely color-coded sample contract here, the pink fields being the ones that are going to be sent in from Spotio, the blue fields being the ones filled out by the customer or the company, and then the orange field being filled out by the customer. After I've completed all of these options, I'm going to hit the continue button up here in the top right corner, and it's going to save that template into my account. Now what I'm going to do is jump over to the mobile and we're going to begin walking through how you can actually generate or send any contract in the field. So I'm going to select a test lead here I have under my name Daniel Pattison and I'm currently logged in as the rep Larry David. I'm going to go to the files section within that lead and hit the plus icon at the very bottom and this is going to allow me to select the option for sign document. You'll now notice that inside of here, that template that I just created under contract template appears and I can select the template to send to the customer. This is where our two options come into play. We have one for sign now, which allows you to capture a signature in the field. And we also have a send to that allows for you to email this temp or contract to the customer. I'm gonna start off by demonstrating how the sign now option works. You'll notice when I select that, it immediately pulls up the template that we just created. And if I zoom in, you'll actually see those fields that we set up in pink, those sender fields, automatically populating inside of this lead. We have the date, um, the address for the customer, full name, as well as their email and phone number. So now all the rep needs to do is hit the get started button at the top, and it's going to automatically prompt them for all of the fields they need to fill out. And you'll notice that when I check that first checkbox, it actually uses the logic that we set up and will immediately give me the option to fill out the details below it, which I can type in. And again, that just demonstrates how you can have those different checkboxes um, for different fields to appear beneath them. After that, what I'm going to do is, um, as the rep, I'm going to fill out my name. Once again, logged in as Larry David there. So I'm going to type in uh, sales rep name, Larry David. And then below that, what I'm going to do is actually capture the rep's signature. 
Now, once again, this is a template we're setting up with both company and customer. If you ever just have a template where only the customer needs to sign it, we have that other option as well, and you would just select that when you're creating your original template. So now that I've um, added in the rep's name and signature, I'm going to go ahead and hit the agree button. And this has basically completed everything on the rep side. So it's going to start the whole process over again from the customer side. So this would basically be when you would hand the customer your device and it's going to let them you know, double check everything, approve all of the you know, pricing or fields that the rep has filled out. And then finally, that signature field that we set up for the customer is going to appear and they can sign it right there, customer, and put in uh, their information prior to saving the contract. So once they complete this, um, the way that we had set it up before, it's going to send a CC copy to that uh, business email address that we added. It's going to save a copy of the contract inside of the lead itself. And then since we turned on that option to send it to the customer as well, it's going to send the customer a completed contract also. So now that we've completed a e-contract template via sign now, we're going to do the same exact process, but we're going to send it to the customer via email. So I'm going to go into the exact same lead and set up the exact same template except rather than selecting the option for sign now, I'm gonna select the option to send to. So this is going to have me confirm the customer's email address and I can tell them, hey, Mr. Customer, about to send you over a proposal here or a contract. When I hit that send button, it's going to send me as the rep a confirmation email letting me know that I am generating an e-contract for this particular customer. So it basically sends both parties an email letting them know that the e-contract has been created. And then the rep, since they're the one filling out the contract before the customer, will go in and actually fill it out via their email. So this is me logged in as Larry David, the rep. I'm selecting the same option for the service, can put in the same details, and then I can also capture my signature. So basically going through all of the same steps as before, except this is all via email rather than on my device. So I'll even come in and put some test details, select my service, and then agree to all of the same um, legal information that I did via the sign now option. So once the rep has completed the e-contract via their email, I'm now going to log into the customer's email and you'll see that they then receive an option to review and sign the e-contract from their end. So think of it as you know basically the exact same process of signatures. Now the customer is logging in and capturing their signature, except this time it's all via email. So the you know, customer and rep can fill these out via computer, via mobile device, basically any device that has access to their email. So this is where the customer would click in, put in their option, to sign the document um, via email. So I'm just gonna put in you know, random customer signature here, and then I'm gonna hit insert. So just like we did before, once this is completed, it'll send the CC copy over to the um, business CC email address. It'll also send a copy to the customer as well as the rep that filled out the e-contract. And the email that they'll receive actually looks like this. It says everyone has signed you know, contract template, uh, which is the email that I used this time. And then it also has that PDF there in the very bottom um, with the contract completed by both parties. So they'll both receive that copy. Um, in addition to being able to send contracts via email on the mobile, we can also do so from the web. So this is the exact same lead. I'm just logged into the web version of Spotio now. I'm gonna go into the lead details. And inside of here, I can select the documents option. You'll notice inside of here, I can see my same template from the web. All I would need to do is check that little box and hit the option to send contract via email. It'll work the exact same as we just went through. And then also inside of here, you're able to download any previously completed e-contracts. So you can see me downloading the e-contract here so I can reference any completed documents. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to go through setting up and using Spotio's e-contracts tool with me. Um, be on the lookout for some additional Spotio Spotlight feature videos um, for all of our other features. And then you can also um, feel free to reach out to our support team or our customer success team if you have any other specific questions or issues with setting up your e-contracts.